Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Ready for a nice six o'clock in the morning run. It's still dark outside. Bully, you want to go to Grandma and Grandpa's? Want to go to Grandma and Grandpa's? Go to the office, Bubba. Want to go to the office, baby? Oh, you wanted to sit in the front seat today, huh? Yeah, are you a big boy now? You want to sit in the front seat? Is that what's up? Yeah? What are you doing up here, buddy? What are you doing up here? Good boys lay down. Good boys. So I must have tweaked my back last week when I went out with Bullet for that run. I don't know what, was, what happened, but just like a, nothing crazy. Like I've been in some serious pain before and definitely nothing crazy this time. Uh, but I definitely felt it like a little tweaked. But um, you know, I just got back from the, I'm on my way back from the chiropractor and I'm already feeling all better, which is amazing. I highly rec if you, recommend if you have any like body pain in any way, shape or form, I highly recommend going to the chiropractor. I think it makes a big difference. So Bullet and I are heading downtown. We're gonna get some work done down in Northport Village. It's such a beautiful day, right Bullet? You see Bullet? Nope. All right, two hours worth of editing done. And I just finished just the house. We just finished just at the house. We got a lot, and I mean a lot of footage to go. Absolutely beautiful. Just finished up four, if not five, different reaction videos. Uh, now I have in the next two hours to two, an hour, hour and a half of tutoring. Um, feeling good though. I want, I'm happy with that. I happy I got those done. I have. To, I'm so ridiculously far behind on the the vlog that I'm thinking of just putting like five or ten videos out a day so I can catch up because it's ridiculous for you guys to be like watching like an August twenty second video when it's the the what is it? What's today? The fifteenth. 14th of September, like it's a little much. Got a little corn on the cob action going on over here. Right, Bullet? This weather is what is, I'm talking about, man. This is this is fall right here. I think a night like tonight, on a, one of the first fall nights, deserves a glass of red wine. Now, I don't typically drink red wine like all, all that often at home because I don't drink much of it and I don't usually finish a bottle like in the time that it would be fresh. But you know what, like maybe, uh, I don't know, like it's fall, I could always take it somewhere. Not the best form of taking an open bottle of wine, but I'd be like, oh, I'm, I'll drink it there instead of like, you know, I don't know, who knows. But the story behind this wine, this is, I bought this, I think <laughs> about like a month ago. Um, and I, I vlogged about it, it was a Saturday when, when we went to uh, the beach with Bullet and like brought breakfast and everything and we came back and I wanted to pick up a bottle of bullet I think um, or, or no I picked up the gin but we picked up a couple of these bottles and they were three for ten so this is like a three dollar and thirty three cent bottle of wine I don't know how good it could actually be but we're about to find out like wine. All right, let's get a glass. To be honest, I'm not sure I have actual proper wine glasses anymore, or I don't know where they are after we moved, so we have a regular glass. Let's see. The glass ratio. Yes? The glug ratio is pretty good. It's hard to judge what the actual what a, what a cup is. And these things. Seems about right. It smells pretty good though. We'll find out in a sec. Gotta let it breathe. 
All right, just washed all the dishes. Moment of truth. It's, it's rather light looking. Let's see. Almost had the carbonated feeling. I know it's not, but. I mean, it's good. It's like a light red wine. The funny thing about wine, though, is you can buy a $50 bottle and a $5 bottle for $3.33. And it's so subjective that it doesn't. I mean, who knows, man? Who knows? I gotta hand it to my wife. I wanna give her a shout out. She, it's like 9.45. I'm about to get ready for bed. Um, and she's not even home yet for work. She left this morning at 6 o'clock in this morning. Everything was blowing up at work really busy when like she was about to leave at seven and she's like, you know, what, I'm gonna help out and stay and she stayed for another two hours. And I just wanna give her a shout out. She's the best and she's a hard worker and I'm grateful for her.